There's one of those orange puffies again. Did we get a sample of one of those? Do we know what that is? Uh, we can look at it. What's the curly thing above the starfish? Oh, that. It All looks right, kind of like keep sediment. Going. All right, pulling it wide. Thank you. In that shape? Yeah, that spiral. Yeah. Uh, it's poop. It could be, I think it's poop. Oh, I think it's poop. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> hey, video, can we zoom on this sea star to the right? The red one? Yeah, the orange one yeah. there. Yeah, that's Hipposterius spinosa. It's a coral predator. And I'm seeing it's about to give this coral a big hug <laughs> and eat on those polyps. It'd be so cool to put a, a stop motion camera down here with the same kind of interval as we have for these temp loggers. We get a whole different perspective on the ecosystem here. It just looks like it's standing still, but it's actually just very slowly about to encroach on this coral and consume it. I think you I can, can find some cool YouTube videos of uh, sea stars uh, in stop motion from Antarctica. They also uh, move across as, as the salt water forms these brinicles, wide, please. little icicles of seawater in, the, can you come wide? in the shallow water. Thank you. Did we ever find out what those bones were? Did anyone ever, any of the scientists on shore ever really chime in and tell us what they were? That's incredible. Not, not that I heard, no. No comments on the bones. No, it's a sea star. We can take a look at it. Yeah. Somebody count how many right legs that sea star has. No. That's insane. Oh my goodness. That's what we call a sun That's star. That's a sea star. It's a sun star, yeah. yeah. That's enormous. Wow. We're going to move. Quite mobile. Which one? What is it called? Rathnaster. Closely related to Pycnopodia, right? Oh, Rathnaster. Oh, OK. What, this? I don't think it is. Is it? Yeah. Rathbanaster, so California. Very, very closely related to the Pycnopodia or something. Star. All right. There we go. That's a more That's accurate. the one I remember from two cruises ago. Because I kept calling it Rathbanaster. I, I think it's we're in the California. area. Yeah. It's a massive. Looks like that sea star has a hitchhiker. <laughs> yeah, a giant it's world. what it looks like. We Could today, be Bob. mimic octopus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Video push it. I'm a sea star. Octopus, yeah. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Just missing one arm. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's an arm here and there. Yeah. Just grow it back. Sure. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think That's I part see of an eighth arm back there. Uh, some people like the mobile lifestyle. Yeah. Tunicate's friends probably don't get it, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead for Zoom. Coming on in. Oh, yeah, this is a great shot. So I think can you, you can just about see the tube feet on the bottom. So this is a, a type of sea star. And uh, the tube feet just underneath the arms, that's how it's actually moving across the rock structure. And when it's in this position, this usually means it's eating something. <laughs> so can you see how its body's all hunched up? It's uh, because it's probably trying to ingest something under there. Well, is that antenna? Um, no, that is actually a arm of a, a brittle star, so a different yeah, type of, uh, uh, yeah, an ophioid. And I think they're all in the sediment as well. You can see the arms poking out of the sediment, so that's probably loads of little brittle stars that are wedged in, and again, keeping the arms up to try and filter feed. Right. That's Coming great, on thanks. Out.